Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and before I begin this video, I would like to thank each and every one of you for your patronage over the last few years. Is that what it is? Patronage? Patronage? They used to say that on the old local television shows every once in a while. This is your top four at the 2022 Orlando Pro. Just happened. The, the video footage, the coverage was not that great. It's very difficult for us YouTube channels to get any footage and coverage on this, but NPC News Online came through with all these great pictures, and I think without beyond the shadow of a doubt, it is worth to take a look at this top four. You can see Max Charles kind of getting out-angled, ripped off a little bit. I think he's he's noticing Presty stepping forward, and oh, oh something happened there. Anyway, anyway, Phil Klahar... If you weren't, uh, if you didn't see my other video, he actually placed third in this, and Max Charles got fourth. So, be uh, worth to take a look at them two as well. But I mean, the top two guys, uh, Hassan Mustafa, he won the Colonel, and Andrea Presti, he always impresses me. Presti impressed me. Anyway, definitely worth to have a closer look at these two dudes because at first glance. Looks like Andrea Presti, he could have won. Look at the silhouette. Look how wide his clavicle is compared to his waistline. That is perfect for bodybuilding. But you have to really cl have a close look at this. And thanks to NBC News Online, we have these close-up shots. And there is a density, a thickness, of the muscle of the wheels, a condition edge I think Hassan has. And a balance, or maybe even an imbalance, Biceps too big for the triceps of Presti. But still, guys, he can't overlook those lats, that V-taper. It's incredible. I mean, it's also worth to have a look at the other two dudes, Klahar and Max Charles. And it'll be the ever-going debate between these two as well. Upper body versus lower body. Klahar definitely uh, getting an edge in the wheels. And he also may have an edge in the V-taper. And the arms... Probably to Max and the abs, of course. So, close, close between all four men. Front lat spread, hard to see Max in this one, or Klahar for that matter. And you can have a closer look at them here, for sure. There was no front lat spread close up one of uh, Presti, so I didn't bother doing the other two gentlemen. But I actually think Max and Klahar are one and two in this one. Due to the lack of footage, I guess, of Presti, he might have been able to catch the other two dudes, but still very close between those two again. So it was a battle for third place, I think. Turn to the side here. Have a look at these gentlemen. Max Charles getting out angled. Not fair. Not fair. Camera angle. Not uh, doing him any justice whatsoever. And this is another one at first glance. You might think Presti, he's too much for the for the short little man the Hassan Mustafa and the big guy come right up with his pose but you have to really take a close look and might as well throw all four of these guys in here right Max Charles lack of separation in the wheels but Klahar lack of size in his wheels you notice that you notice that and Presti does look awesome in this one that big man's manly chest but Hassan, he is a German tank, a Sherman tank, not a German tank, a Sherman tank. Surely. Look at the separation in his quads. He's the thickest ball of muscle, the hardest ball of muscle. No, he might not be aesthetically pleasing to some, but still, wow, wow. Get conditioned, they told him, and you'll win, and that's what's going on. That's what's going on. Side tricep, I might even give to Hassan, the colonel. The colonel don't know why I'm doing the Arnold voice for Hassan, but hey, what the heck, what the heck. I think Max Charles is an easy second, maybe even first in this one, but look at the quad of Hassan. For a thick, stout man, he pulls off this aesthetically pleasing side tricep very well. Let's have a look at the backs, because this is where I question the win. When I was watching the little bit of footage that you could get, footage... You could see that Presti looked like he was in better condition than Hassan. It, does, it definitely looks like he is. Between uh, the other two dudes, 
I think Max Charles, he lacks that separation, but he looked like he had very thin skin, things of that nature for sure, but back for back, you gotta like Klahar in that match. But these two, I mean, yeah, the legs might be a little stringy, I guess, with all due respect, in the calves and in the, the quads from behind, hamstrings, things of that nature, and look how thick and stout Hassan is, but the condition would have us believe that Presti is the better man. But how much more conditioned is he? And how much better of a back development does Hassan have? Does he have a better back? Well, I think so. Calves, definitely. Here's the rear double. And again, Klahar, Max Charles, Maxi Boy, one of my favorites. Man, oh man. Hey, I like Klahar. I like him just fine. But I mean... I'm a loyal fan of this Max Charles. He's been, you know, been watching him for years. But back for back, not even a matchup. Klahar has it, for sure. Even if Max was slightly better conditioned, which I think he might have been. Might have been. Here's the other two dudes. And take a look, guys. Take a look. Who do you think's in better condition? Glutes, no doubt. Glutes till Tuesday. Glutes till Tuesday, for sure. Size, thickness, Hassan, peeled. Look at the calf difference. Take a look. I just did that video, worst calves. Hassan might have the best calves. The best calves of the night. I love the way Presti opens up in this like a cobra. Look at that. It's perfect. It's perfect. Might even be winning the shot. Go to the most muscular, finish this one off. Max not even hitting the pose. You can see that. And Hassan kind of going a little too small in this one. <laughs> Max, look at him here. He's the be he's the winner of this one. I think Presti had uh, Klahar in the hands clasped. And Max is by far the best and biggest in this hands clasped. And look at the double, bubble, triple, trouble, double... It's a double jeopardy. It's a double je who ordered the who ordered the double double bubble? I think Hassan did, with all due respect. But anyway, anyway. Hey boy, drop it down. Let me see that touch the ground. We have a bubble gut bonanza. Drop it down like a belly dancer. Bubble gut, bubble 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 gut. Here's a closer shot of the two, one and two, and yeah, like I said, guys, it began this one by saying. Could have went to the, uh, the, the the Italian. Is he Italian? Andrea Presti? Because he has a much better structure. And at first glance, he blows Hassan out of the whatever. But take a close look. Thickness, density, muscle, condition, the wheels in particular. It's a different type of shot too. Different type of shot too. Hassan Mustafa. He won this one. He won. And do I think it's fair? I think it was close enough in the condition to have it go his way because he was so much thicker. Who would I have picked as a judge? Mm, uh, that might have been a different story. That might have been a different story. Might have went with the extra condition of those glutes. But my soul, my soul. Calves, you got to pay attention to that as well. Between Max and uh, Klahar. If Max had a better, not a better back than Klahar, but a little bit better back than he had to at least do battle in those back shots. I would have given it to him, no doubt. Much better midsection. But still, I guess I don't argue with the placings. Might have jumbled it up a bit, but wouldn't have argued. Wouldn't have argued. And I don't argue. Hassan Mustafa headed to the Olympia. Can't wait. He's going to have much more impact now. Look out for the Colonel. Colonel Crunch. Hassan Mustafa. He is your Orlando Pro Champion 2022. <laughs> Have a great one, guys.